We will be looking at theory behind single neuron neural network today and we are going to use this particular data set where you have person's age and whether the person have insurance or not. Using this you want to build a function that can tell you or that can predict if person will buy an insurance given an age and this is not nothing but a binary classification problem you are giving an age and as an output you are getting zero or one which is a binary output zero means person will not buy insurance person might buy insurance now if you have followed my machine learning tutorials you might have some memories regarding this data set you'll be like yeah i have already looked into this problem and you are absolutely right if you look at my logistic regression tutorial this particular one i'm going to link this playlist in a video description below so check this particular video out it's a prerequisite for this tutorial if you don't want to bother about it i will still go in the theory but if you go through this video it's gonna be helpful guys so please do that so logistic regression is basically an algorithm that can be used for classification problem so let's go over some theory i'm going to plot this particular data set on a scatter chart like this it's a simple chart my friend x-axis you have age y-axis you have zero and one zero means person doesn't have insurance one means person have insurance now again going back to my machine learning tutorial playlist using linear regression you can draw a best fit line that goes through these data points like this now you'll be like how did i draw this line well there is this concept of linear regression linear regression if you don't know that concept again go to my tutorial playlist and follow these two tutorials tutorial number two and three they talk about linear regression so using that you can draw a best fit line see if you want to draw a single line that passes through all these data points it's not possible so you have to somehow come up with a best fit line so this is that best fit line and after you draw that best fit line you can do something like this okay so i have this line which is my prediction function and let's say i want to predict if an 85 year old dadima or grandmother want to buy an insurance or not so here where is 85 okay let's see on x-axis 85 is here so if you look at this data point it is more than one so anything more than 0 0.5 person will buy the insurance so you'll be like yes person will buy the insurance so you anything which is 0 0.5 or up person will buy the insurance less than that person will not buy insurance so then you get this red color boundary almost so you can see on x-axis around 42 years of age a person starts buying insurance so linear regression by the way for this given problem works perfectly fine but there is one issue let's say your data set has an outlier like this let's say you have some very aged people in your data set who have had the insurance now your best fit line when you are using linear regression will look something like this and when you draw a boundary using 0 0.5 what happens is you end up misclassifying certain data points see all these data points now your line will say they do not need to have insurance because your age criteria has uh, gone up now it's like okay anyone who is 48 year old or more that person buys the insurance so you can see the problem with linear regression here what if I can draw a line like this this line is much better because when now I draw my boundary I will not be misclassifying those data points of course there will be some data points like this and these two guys there will be some outliers see machine learning all we are doing is some coming up with some best guess function it might not be perfect and that's fine but most of the data points this works okay so this function is pretty useful it looks like an s in alphabet this is known as a sigmoid or logit function if you have done some mathematics it is it's just a name of the function friends do not worry too much about what is sigmoid logit like whenever you hear mathematical terms i know you guys freak out 
but don't worry it's a very simple function as safe function and uh, the function equation is like this 1 divided by 1 plus e raised to minus z e is Euler's number what is Euler's number it's just some constant like you know how about pi how pi is a constant number in the universe same as Euler's number 2.71 why is it 2.71? Universe decided it to be that way. Why do humans have two legs? Or why do humans have two eyes? It's just some constant. Universe has constants, friends. Euler's number is a constant. All this function is doing is converting an input value z into a range of 0 to 1. Now, look at this function carefully. Let's say you use this function for the value of 200. When you put 200 in the value of z, see this number becomes very, very small. So 1 divided by 1 plus very small, which is 1 divided by a number which is little greater than 1. You will get a value almost close to 1. If you have a negative number, then this becomes really big and the number goes to 0. So all that this function is doing is take an input value and convert it between a 0 to 1. So if you have very like a bigger positive values, it will it will max them out to 1. It's like a, almost like a threshold. Okay, value is, goes beyond some point, it will just max it out to 1. Value goes beyond certain point on a negative direction, it will max it out to 0. So any value you fit into this function, it is a simple function which will convert it to 0 and 1. And why do we do that? Why do we need a sigmoid function like this? Uh, so basically we had, we have now two steps. So the, in the first step we are still drawing a linear line using linear regression. Okay, so y is equal to mx plus b uh, where x is actually an age and uh, B is some bias. So again, go through my linear regression tutorials. You will get an idea if you are still not sure about this mathematics. But the first step is you draw a linear line using linear regression. The line is y is equal to mx plus b. And the step two is applying a sigmoid function. So sigmoid function is, you know, you have this line and you apply sigmoid function and it becomes like s. So sigmoid function is doing nothing. So it is taking the y from step one, which is the output of step one, and converting it into this uh, nice curve, which is little better for our problem of classification. And if you look at x, it is an age. Z is nothing but a person will buy the insurance. Now, when you're working on a classification problem, all you want to know is zero and one. Zero means person will not buy insurance, one will per, one means person will buy the insurance. So you are interested only in two outputs. Remember from my machine learning tutorials, uh, when you have a regression problem, there is a continuous output like housing price prediction, where you give bedrooms, uh, square feet, etc., and you get a particular value, like uh, $400,000, $500,000. So there are values in regression but in classification like 0 1 spam or not spam categories basically and sigmoid function is used exactly for that purpose because it converts any value to 0 and 1 and what we can do is now any value which is less than 0.5 we can say it's 0 anything greater than 0.5 it's 1 so it helps you with a classification problem now when we look at our equation um, when you solve this equation using linear reg regression, all you are doing is you are coming up with m and b. So let's say in our case, we came up with this m. m value is 0 0.042. b value is minus 1.53. Now, I did not randomly put these numbers, my friends. These are the real numbers for our insurance data set. And if you have a good memory, uh, if you go to my logistic regression tutorial, which again, I'm going to link in the video description below, you see these two constant. So the coefficient, which is M is 0 0.0415. So you can round it to 0 0.042. 
intercept it is minus 1.527 so again round it to 1.53 so these are the numbers i am putting on my ppt i'm not randomly putting any number okay so now thinking about step one and step two we get this so this is why that we calculate using m and b and then the next step is z which is your uh, sigmoid function so now once we have this two step function this is nothing but a logistic regression okay so we are doing logistic regression in this circle so when you give let's say age 35 to this function it will first calculate y and by the way you can put 35 in the value of x and you can have a calculator just compute the value and you will get 0.48 again i'm not randomly putting these numbers these are the accurate numbers and then step two is sigmoid function so now when you have 0.48 it is less than 0.5 which means person will not buy the insurance hence the red color i use red color with a purpose here and when you have age 40 t 43 you get this value 0.57 which is more than 0.5 which means person will buy the insurance yeah you want a lottery so now this already looks like a neuron so this particular thing in the round is nothing but a neuron. Neuron has this linear equation as a first part and an activation function as a second part. So activation function is nothing but our sigmoid function. What does activation mean? You know, you have those LED lights at home. So when LED light activates, it is on. When it deactivates, it is off, which means zero, one, zero, one, zero, one. So sigmoid function is exactly doing that. You give any value, it converts to, uh, it to a value between zero and one, which means you can classify, okay? So this round here is nothing but a neuron. So logistic regression, you can think of it as a simple, like a single neuron. Okay, now we used only one, uh, feature so in the machine learning terminology the age is called a feature or an input parameter or an independent variable the dependent variable is if person will buy insurance or not now you can have multiple factors actually you can have instead of age you can have age income and education so you can have something like this where in this particular equation Let's say if I have income and education, because uh, sometimes person, if person's income is high, then he will buy the insurance, okay? So person will buy the insurance or not, might depend not only on age, but on income and education. If a person is not educated at all and doesn't have health awareness, he or she might not buy insurance. So when you have this kind of data set where you have three features, which is age, income, education, then you might come up with this kind of equation now this time by the way 0 0.08 and 0 0.2 i just came up with this number out of thin air i did not do any math here just putting some numbers and generic way of representing this equation is w1 into x1 w2 into x2 w3 into x3 so these numbers the constant that you had 0 0.042 0 0.008 those are called weights w1 w2 etc x1 x2 x3 is nothing but the features the features of your data set and b is some constant number bias that you saw already in linear equation in mathematics generic way of representing the, this equation is this so you are doing a summation of i is equal to 0 to n the i have n because I am showing three three features here there could be five features there could be 10 there could be 100 features who knows generic way to represent this is this summation of 0 to n w i into x i so it is w1 x1 w2 x2 w3 x3 plus b and that's when you get your y now if you want to represent same equation in terms of neural network you can present it like this where you have the single neuron which is your logistic function you have the input parameters or the features which is age income and education and the way you represent them is x1 x2 x3 
Then you have weights W1, W2, W3, which is some number like some constant numbers here. And here as a first step, you will do W1 into X1, W2 into X2, W3 into X3. Then you use activation function, which is nothing but a sigma function that converts the number between zero and one. And when Z is 0.5 or more, it is yes, which is neuron is activated. It is less than 0.5, which means neuron is deactivated. Okay. So I hope this clears your understanding on neuron. It is actually simple. You already know it. If you know logistic regression, we will be looking into more mathematics and more theory behind the neural network. But in this tutorial, I just wanted to restrict it to a simple explanation of a single neuron neural network. In the upcoming videos, uh, we will be writing Python code uh, using TensorFlow and we will be building uh, this single neural, net neural network and we'll be doing a prediction using that. So I hope you're liking this series so far. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Please post in a video comment below if you have any question. I try to answer as many comments as possible. I My time is limited, but I try my best. So please post a comment if you're liking this series so far. If you give it a thumbs up, it's going to help me a lot. That's, that's my fees, guys. That is my fees. You share with people, you comment, you subscribe, and you give it a thumbs up. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.